Hello, Ben here, and today we are taking a look at Adaptus Titanicus, the Grand Master Edition. I realise this video has taken a long time to make, thank you for that real life, and that it's currently out of stock on Games Workshop's website, but the contents are still available separately, so I still feel like there's little value left in this video. Besides, I already started it, so I'm going to finish it. The box is one hefty beast, as it should be, for it is chock filled with sprues, rules and other bits you need to get building and playing this amazing game. So let's not waste any more time and get to the parts of this box that everybody really wants to be talking about. The ruler! No, joking. Nobody likes the rulers. Well, actually, um, no, I still, I still need to talk about this. Uh, I shouldn't throw it. No, I'll, I'll go get it. The box contains 17 sprues all in all. Six for the Warlord Titans, three per Titan, two for the Imperial Knights, three per sprue, eight for the scenery, and one for the tokens, the counters, and the battlefield assets. It should come as no surprise to anyone by now just how sharp the detail is on Games Workshop's plastics. Even on the sprues you can see they have managed to capture the scale of a 108 foot tall god machine. Although I did think they were bigger than that to be honest. Each titan comes with armour plates for loyalist and traitor titans and a blank plate which is a nice touch as I plan on building the box in a way that allows me to use the contents as two separate forces or one big one as I probably won't be buying any more for this game. I'm also very impressed with the Imperial Knight sprues. If you've ever built a 40k Imperial Knight, you can see they've managed to scale down and simplify its kit. They squeeze three knights onto one sprue. They also come with three weapon options. I'm not sure if they can be magnetised like the weapons on the Titans, but I'm going to give it a go. The box comes with two Civitas Imperialis scenery kits, from what I can work out. Again, the scale is captured really nicely, and I'm looking forward to seeing what can be done with this modular terrain. I was really surprised by the quality of the hardback rulebook. It's printed nicely in colour and feels solid, like a codex or an Age of Sigmar army book. It contains rules for playing the game in open play, match play and narrative play, and has missions and stratagems. It's chock full of fluff and paint schemes for Titan Legions. I don't really know what I was expecting, but this makes Titanicus feel like its own game system, and not just a flash in the pan board game. There is also two quick reference sheets, one for each player, which is nice, and they are nicely laid out with page references for the rulebook. This is good, you should do more of this Games Workshop. Anyone keeping up with the news on Titanicus will recognise the command terminal cards. They are made from a durable, thick card, and all the holes are already punched out, which is good, because I'm lazy. The best part is you get two cards for each Titan, even ones that have not yet been released, which is great for expanding the game, as you'll only need to buy minis and no more books or rules. Not like another box game I could mention. The stratagem, mission cards and weapon cards are all nicely printed and made from a tough laminated card, although thanks to some extensive testing and being an absolute idiot, I've discovered you can rip them. The box comes with a whole bunch of dice, 10d6, six order dice, a location dice, a scatter dice, a reactor dice, and 2d10. These are really nice, and they are as good as any faction dice Games Workshop has released for other systems. They could have easily just have included some basic red and white dice and sold these separately, so I really appreciate their addition, as it adds a lot of extra value to this kit. The templates have made a return in fetching blue. They are the same as the old 40k template. I think I'll just keep these in the box so both players can have a set in games. You get three instruction manuals for assembly. They are up to Games Workshop's usual high standards. Two sets of each decals for the Titans and the Knights. Bases for the minis. And that ruler. It's actually really nicely designed and it feels quite solid for one of the included measurers. I'll keep it so they won't have to dig out a tape measure every time I want to play. And there is also a sample chapter for Titanicus by Dan Abnett. I probably won't read that. There's also a poster on the box art that has assembly instructions for the battlefield assets on the back. It's pretty nice and it has found a place on my wall. Overall, I really feel like this is a great box game. I feel Titanicus has come under fire for its cost and I agree it's not cheap. I also feel there is a lot of value packed into this box. The rulebook, the dice, the extra stuff for the unreleased minis. It's a great addition and could easily have been sold separately. It's easy to see the very high level of detail on the minis, even whilst they are on the sprues. I'm looking forward to having them built, and in the next video I'll take a look at the assembled minis. Let me know what you think of Adaptus Titanicus, the Grand Master Edition, down in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and be zen. See you next time.